So I went to this Barnes and Noble to find a trans rights readathon table because I've seen one on social media. The picture of a Barnes and Noble with the trans rights readathon table, and I got a little distracted. I started looking at other books, found a Spray Edges Dune, and then I found some of A.K. Mulford's books. Hey. So went to Barnes and Nobles to look for like a trans rights um, readathon table and I did not find one. I think visibility is very important and reminding people that like certain challenges are going on. So like if there's a trans right readathon going on, I think Barnes and Noble should like bare minimum just have one table, you know what I mean? I think all companies really should have one and especially living in 2024 they should have one person on a social media team like what challenges are going on right now how can we have like diverse tables how can we have uh let's say there's a trans right readathon let's specifically have a table for that it's hispanic heritage month let's specifically have a table for that and this is where i have to show a little self-restraint so before anybody comments or automatic blocks, I'm gonna warn you right now. If anybody comments, oh, well, you can't force anybody to participate in something that they don't believe in. Look, I love you guys, but that's an instant block for me. <laughs> that's an instant ick for me. Post, like your comments gonna get deleted. I don't wanna hear any of that in the comments of this video because I'm tired of making a lot of people comfortable. I'm not gonna baby anybody. Specifically people that think LGBT people are against their beliefs and everything. I'm not gonna baby you. I'm just gonna block you because I'm not dealing with any of that today. Just having a bare minimum Barnes and Noble table with a trans rights readathon or anything LGBT is the bare minimum. It's not forcing anything upon anybody. It's not forcing anybody to change their beliefs. It's not telling anybody that that's how you should believe. But at the end of the day, it's like, hey, how about we put a little bit of effort into boosting diverse voices? I don't know.